I would leave it empty rather than vote for Joe Biden. You can't vote against, vote for two evils. You can't vote, you, we, don't ha we can't be choosing between justice and democracy in this situation. This choice of voting, voting uninstructed in the Democratic primary is not a vote for Trump. This is a vote against Biden and a vote to tell him that, hey, you can have our vote if you change your ways immediately and completely and uh, call for the end to U.S. aid in Israel and a ceasefire. It's, it's honestly the most simple thing you can do. It's basic humanity at this point. We, we don't feel as though it should be on the people to get Biden in office. It's on Biden to convince the people to get him in office. So for no reason should we be blamed, the, the people who are voting uninstructed, if Trump gets in office. We, we do not like Trump. We are completely against Trump. But at the same time, what is Biden doing? Um, this is me and Bob with, Biden, with uh, Obama. And uh, Michelle, this is me. Oh, the election day will be one of the saddest day of my life. I don't have a candidate to vote for. Because till today, President Biden has not said the word ceasefire. He talked about the genocide in Gaza as, and he quote unquote, over the top. Over the top is not what's happening now. What has this administration done? They fast-tracked weapons and arms. If Biden does not win this election, he's not going to win this election. He needs to seriously reassess how he's acting and how he's treating this war on Gaza. And he needs to call for a ceasefire immediately and end all U.S. aid to Israel immediately and reinstate UNRWA.